Marcus, it's been 17 years since you've turned professional. Looking back, how much did you work on building up your character both on the court and off it to become one of the most successful sports figures in Cyprus? It's, a, it's an interesting question, but uh, like everybody in life, I think evolves slowly, slowly learns from, so, from uh, decisions that he makes and, uh, and just living life itself. And uh, I think as, as a, I learned as a person because leaving from Cyprus at a very young age when I was 14, uh, I pretty quickly learned how to take responsibility of, of my life because I was alone. And uh, I mean, it, it helped me tremendously in, in a lot of ways. Uh, you know, I, I decided who I want to be. I decided how I want to be, what kind of person. And uh, I think I evolved as a person in the right side. And I'm very happy with that. And I'm very grateful that I had that you know, lesson in life at a very young age. Who has been instrumental to your success? My idol was my older brother. He went through a lot in his life. Uh, some, uh, some things happened to him and I learned from that a lot. And for me, to see him, you know, with all these difficulties that he had, get through them and the way he get through them, you know, it was another lesson in my life at a very young age. And uh, yeah, uh, he was one of my idols. And then, yeah, moving back into tennis, Agassi inspired me. You know, he was an inspiration for me and uh, Patrick Rafter, both of them, you know. I, I was the kind of guy that I was not stick to one person. I would see the good of many people and uh, try to learn from each person I liked and I liked to watch and inspired me. My coaches, my teams, all these years also, you know, helped me, all of, all of them. It's not only one person, it's all the team that helped me uh, improve in my tennis, improve as a person and uh, I cannot just say one, one about one person, but uh, the only thing I can say, yes, definitely the decision of my father and mother letting me go at 14 years old, I think it was the toughest decision a parent can take to let their child. And they did it and they did it for my own good. And uh, you know, that made me who I am today. <laughs> You refer to tennis greats Rafael Nadal, Roger Federer and Novak Djokovic as the big three. How have they created a positive impact on your life? I was playing in the generation of the three of the best tennis players and maybe we will ever have, you know. Uh, I think they're, they're all three and I, I can put Andy Murray in there too, you know, because he didn't win as many Grand Slams but he won a lot of tournaments and he was in a lot of Grand Slams finals. Uh, I mean, I learned a lot from them, especially from, from Rafa and uh, Andy and Novak. We were similar ages, you know, uh, they're one and two years younger than me. So we, we saw, I saw their development throughout the years. I saw them work when they were young. And, uh, you know, I tried to, to learn from them when we were young and try to, you know, as a Cypriot, I didn't have the facilities they had uh, because of, of, you know, English, Spanish, they have some facilities and, and I try to look and learn from every, every aspect, you know, and, uh, and they, they teach me a lot, uh, not themselves, but how they worked and everything teach me a lot how to, how to work and how to uh, get that uh, self-discipline in me, which I didn't have as a Cypriot boy, you know, that we don't have here in Cyprus, we can say that too. Uh, in all domains, not only in, in, in tennis. In 2019, you took up the new role of coach for Ukrainian Elina Svitolina, the current world number five. What core values are you trying to instill as a mentor? Keep learning. I think that's the most important thing and I think that's where I'm going to go a bit back, sorry. Uh, that's what maybe I didn't do so well when I got to the finals or when I when I got up there to number eight in the world, yes, I had some injuries, but then somehow I stopped learning and I wanted results instead of, you know, taking step at a time and keep on learning. And, and I think, I mean, she has everything. She's five in the world. And I think the secret at that point, when you get to that point, is accepting that you need to keep on learning and not stop learning and looking only at the result. And uh, that's what I, I try to teach most of, of the people that I try to mentor is 
there is, you never stop learning in life. And even me as a coach, I, I mean as a mentor, as a coach, as how you want, I want to keep on learning. And, uh, and I think that's the secret of, of, of success, you know, keep on learning every day, becoming a better person than you were yesterday. And, uh, and just, you know, take it step by step and be patient. Marcos Bagdatis, the end to a marvelous career. I retired a year ago. I wanted to spend time with my family. As you know, my kids right now are my priority. Uh, I'm trying to do stuff, help, I mean, not help, but work with some kids here in Cyprus, which are the age that need some help and some work with me. Uh, I'm trying to do that. And uh, soon I will, I will do something uh, very nice here in Cyprus, like maybe a small academy that will um, that will uh, make me and my wife also, because my, as you know, my wife Carolina was an ex-professional uh, tennis player. She was number 17 in the world, and she knows a lot in, in, in this domain too. She's uh, very, very good. And I think um, uh, what we are planning to do is gonna work with some kids here in Cyprus and uh, try to raise the level of tennis here in Cyprus.